Hey guys, Paul here from the Complete Personal Trainer Podcast and Melbourne Performance Coaching. Today's episode, we're gonna talk about setting up your schedule. And this comes from a student of mine who messaged me, I'm gonna bring it up, I'm not gonna say his name, except it's certainly not, no, it's nothing. Um, so, he's running a business, he's doing part one-on-one, part semi-private business, and one-on-one, he's doing uh, you know, 30 to 45 minute sessions, because he's teaching the clients to warm up, they can warm up without him, that's fantastic, and a little bit of a portion of workout to do by themselves fantastic way of doing business, uh, simply because you're creating some autonomy for the clients and you're able to fit in more people into a day. So that's a fantastic way to do that. And you can get in client in front of client spaces multiple times a week instead of once a week. So you're kind of getting a bit, double bang for your buck there. You make more money per hour, you are giving the clients autonomy and control and it's a win-win situation. The other thought he had was moving everyone that's appropriate across the semi-private and do a block style schedule. So he'll be in the gym from time to time, to time to time, people can book into that. Now this is something that I recommend very, very highly. So when we started off with semi-private training sessions at DC Health, we started off by just saying, all right, cool. Um, these are, the, you have to come at this time, this is the time you're gonna come every single week. That degree of flexibility for semi-private never worked out. So what I would do is we started putting our training in the blocks, we train clients between six and 10, 12 and two, four and eight, and that was the entire day. Fantastic way of running a business because it makes it very easy to, you know, staff, makes it very easy to work out who's gonna be in or where at the right time, and you know, it gives clients plenty of options. Some possible downsides with this. So this is something that you have to weigh up. If you're still doing individualized training for clients, uh, training clients from say five to nine, for example, there is a chance you're gonna have two clients with very, very different goals. And they're gonna have very different goals and you're gonna have to juggle a lot more programs and it's a fine line to walk, keeping everyone happy in those particular circumstances and situations. So what you need to do as a trainer is identify, you know, what clients will work best together and then see if it's something that can work from you. So when I was subcontracting out of commercial gym uh, in between, you know, DC and COVID, I was still doing semi-private. I was doing up to 11 clients. I think 11, 12 clients was the most I'd do in an hour. And everyone had a totally individualized program. So what that does is you end up becoming more of a supervisor uh, who just checks on things every now and then rather than a coach. Because these clients have been working with me for you know years and years and years, it wasn't too bad. But if you're working with a bunch of beginner clients, it's something that isn't going to work out too well unless your clients are a really good group of people and they want to help support you in that as well. So I was very lucky that my clients are great, were a great group, still are a great group of people and they supported me in doing that and they would actually take newbies under the wing, etc. So what you need to balance out in these particular circumstances is it needs to be based on your client base right now and what kind of programming you're offering. From there, you then need to set some pretty hard and strong boundaries on your pro- your time so people make it in. So in an app, you need to use some technology for this, you just can't all do it by yourself, is you need to actually make it compulsory for clients to book in sessions with you. And they need to do it like 24 to 12 hours in advance, whatever it may be, and the that is it. There might be four slots per hour or per half hour, and they book each of those slots in, and that's where you go from there. The other downside to this is you'll occasionally be doing hours when you're working with one client who's paying a semi-private training rate. That is one of the things that you just kind of need to cop on the chin, but it can be a very good way to run your business. I would recommend this to personal trainers been training clients for a long time, have a lot of people that they train and they want to work with a few more or they want to schedule their time a little bit better and with their clients who have been training with them for a long time. It's certainly something you don't wanna throw a bunch of beginners into, but for intermediate to advanced clients, it can be a fantastic way to do it. And then it allows you, you've already developed the skills, you can then transition that to your own semi-private training facility in the future. Thanks heaps for watching guys. Paul from Melbourne Performance Coaching. Any questions, hit me up.